Hey, I'm Dan from Real Max Software, and this week I thought it would be fun to have a look at how to build a page in Elements. Now, I'm not going to build the whole page, we're probably going to look at uh, building just a section of it, um, just a part of it, to see how you would kind of lay these things out. I thought it would be fun to look at the grid and flex elements we have. Um, and you can kind of see how you might put together websites in Rapid Weaver Elements. Now, as you know, Elements is still in development, so this is very much beta software. So we're potentially going to hit some bugs because I haven't um, I haven't run through this before. Uh, we're kind of building it on the fly. I've got an idea of what I want to build. Um, I was just scrolling through the Apple website and I found um, the Sonoma page and we, we've got these boxes here and I thought, you know, this is great. This is some kind of standard content people might want to lay out. So I thought, why don't we have a go and have a bit of a play around and do something like this. So here we are in Elements and I've got my section up the top here. Uh, this is a section element and we kind of use these to group sections in. So they're kind of handy because you can put background colors, images and video in them. So it's a good place to start. So I've got my section and what we're going to need is a grid. Um, because the, this is in a grid here, you can see that it's at least two. It's kind of split into two. And if, you, uh, if you've looked at some other tools and you kind of know about web design and design, a lot of things are broken down into uh, grids. And this is what we call this a grid because it's done on a grid system. Now, this is a 12 column grid system. And if I switch this little tab here, we can see these little red lines come up and that's because it's showing us 12 columns and each of those boxes is uh, three columns. And that's why we've got four, so it makes 12. I hope that makes sense. If, you, if it doesn't make sense yet, I'm sure it will do as we go through this. So let's crack on with trying to build this. So we're definitely gonna need a heading and I'm gonna put that up the top here let's go over to the page layout view so you can see where things are appearing in in the design uh, so we've got our heading there at the top of the section and then we've got the grid and i'm going to duplicate the heading because we want that in the first grid there and i'm going to dupl duplicate that again because we've got some more text and let's head back over to here i'm going to copy that text let's paste it there and let's copy this text and I'm going to paste that there and we'll also have this text and I'm just going to paste that there. So this is purple. The font, uh, the color is currently purple, but we want green. And if you've watched the previous videos, you'll know we can do that in the theme studio. So I'm going to go ahead and pick purple and then we're going to go over there and pick the green we want. This is using the primary color and I've changed the primary color. So all our, all our objects that are set to the primary color now update to green. And let's have a look. Right, so we want this font to be bigger. Uh, so let's update that. And we want the weight to be heavier. Something around that. I don't, yeah, maybe we'll leave it at that. Um, we might want a bit of padding on this just to give it a bit of space. So I'm going to on the desktop because that's just what we're working on at the moment. I'm going to move that down so we've got a bit of space there. Uh, now this wants to be smaller and we probably want that to be a bit, bit heavier. And this text definitely wants to be smaller, kind of more like this. And we'll give that a bit of weight as well. Now uh, that wants to be black. So we could choose a pure black or I could choose this dark green color. And um, yeah, I might, uh, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just go for that. Okay, uh, well maybe let's make that a bit smaller. And yeah, that'll do, that'll do for now, that'll do for now. Um, all right, so this is kind of in a box here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the card element and I'm gonna drop that in there. By default, the card element is uh, our primary color at the moment. So let's change that. I'll just change that to a gray so we can see what we're doing. And I'm gonna change the hover color here because you can see when I hover in it, it gets darker. So I'm just gonna change that to the same color because we don't want that at the moment. And um, 
let's drop, I'm going to drop that heading into the card and this one. And you'll see it's put them side by side. And that is because the card is laying them out horizontally, but we want them vertically. So we just click it over to vertical and now they're vertical. Uh, now let's have a look. So uh, the card, this is starting to shape up, uh, but you'll notice the edges are square on here and we want them curved. So I am going to uh, put update the border radius to give them a curved edge. And this is very small. And now this is where the columns comes in because we want this card to actually stretch probably to here to take up 50% of the grid. And because our grid's 12 columns, that would be six columns. And if I go to our grid item here, you can see on the desktop, it's just using three columns. So let's increase that to six. And you'll notice the content reflows when I do this. So we've moved it to six. You know, I can just move these around and you can see that it's two columns, three columns, four, five. And this is really, really powerful uh, way to, to lay out your content. And best of all, you can see it as you're doing it, as you're editing it right here. So let's let's keep working on this. We need, uh, we need an image and I took the liberty of screenshotting this before because uh, I knew we were going to work on this page. I did screenshot it, but uh, I seem to have lost it. So we're going to do that. I we're going to do that again. Um, I thought I'd put it in there, but I've obviously trashed it. So let's just take a snap and save that to the desktop. And uh, let's call this Mac and we're going to drop it in there into the resources. And where da, 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 we want an image, let's pop that in there. And then we've got our Mac and I'm going to pop that in there. So we've got our Mac. Now let's change the background of the card to white. And just so we can see it, this section is kind of gray. So let's change this section to gray. Now I've got a gradient on this section and um, it's using three colors, but uh, I'm just, we just want gray. So I'm just going to do that. And now we can see here, we're, start, we're starting to get, uh, we're starting to get something that's similar to this. One thing I do want to do, if we wanted to change the, uh, how close these are together, I'm going to use a flex box to help with the layout. So I'm going to put this in our card. And a flex item is a great way to, uh, let me just duplicate one of these. The flex items are a great way to reflow and relay out content and kind of create a, a consistent um, layout between your items. So I'm going to put the heading in a flex item. So this is a flex group here, you can see. And then I'm going to put that in the image in there as well. And again, the, the flex is on a horizontal and we want that vertical. And we want uh, them to the content to be at the start. And now we have these, uh, you see, I can change this. I can just change this gap here and it changes all the items like this. And this is, this is really great when you've got a longer page, lots of content and you want things to be consistent. You can just change it like this. So it's, it's a real nice way of working. And we, can, and we can change the padding here on all these items. So we can bring this in and take that out. Uh, we can obviously have more control on these for the different uh, desktop, etc. But we don't need that because we're just kind of messing around here. And right, so we've got, uh, let's duplicate, let's duplicate uh, this card because we want to take this and we want to put it there. So I'm going to duplicate that one and we're going to put it in this grid item. Now you can see it's duplicated that. Um, it's not copying the text over yet, again, because this is beta software. So that's a little thing we just haven't got around to doing yet. Um, so I've copy and pasted that across. Now, our, this grid item is only taking up three, but we want it to, we don't want this here. We want it to take up the other six. So as before, we just increase this and then it's filling that. So now we've got two really nice items here that reflow, resize, and uh, they fit very nicely. 
And uh, what I'm going to do, let's, um, I've got a container here, which I can use as well to contain items essentially. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop all my items into here into a container to bring them in there. And again, you can, uh, on these containers, we can change the padding and margin, you know, so I can bring that more into the center of the page. So that's, uh, that's looking pretty good. Now I've got a couple of more grid items here and maybe let's get rid of one of these. I'm wondering what should we do here? Um, let's, oops, let's go down here. And what I want to do is I'm going to, let's duplicate this heading and let's throw that down here and we'll duplicate this one and let's throw that in there so we've got this grid item here and that is only taking up three but we could get it full width so i could go whoop, and we can make that full width let's grab a card and i should have really just copied these shouldn't i um but it's fine because it doesn't take long. We're going to make those white and let's uh, let's go back here. It's easier. It's easier to do this. Let's drop them in there. And again, we are going to do them vertical and I want a border radius. Now let's make this one a little bit different. Um, let's have a look here. We could we can make this kind of transparent here. And uh, again on the hover so this one is transparent but let's let's uh, change this background section I do have an image for this one uh, it's an image I often use when we've been playing around so let's put that um, oh no we don't want that let's uh, where are we hang on uh, we're on the section yes I want to put that on the section uh, so let's put that background image on the section and we want it uh, we want it to cover and we want that full screen aha uh -huh. okay now we're getting somewhere so now uh, you can see through this and that's looking pretty good i'm gonna change that text to white and maybe we want that a bit bigger and what might be fun uh, this is we could change we've got this blur feature here and a hover as well so what we could do is when I hover over it, we could we could make this bigger and let's see uh, to make the text more legible. We could we could blur this. Can you see that blurring there slightly? But when I roll over it, it unblurs. But what about if we made it blur more when I rolled over it? Let's cut that down a little bit. That's looking pretty cool. So you can see when I roll over it, it's getting bigger and it's blurring more. Uh, we can also put a shadow on that. Let's pick black. Let's pick black there. And oh, the shadow size, we'll pick a, oh, that's on hover. And let's, ah, so there we go. So you can see the, let's make a small shadow. That's pretty good. So we've got a small shadow and when I roll over it, it gets, it, it grows in size because the object is moving towards the camera. That looks pretty good, if you could imagine that. Um, let's center that text. And we'll, why not, why not? Let's change this, because that looks a bit weird up there. So you can see uh, it's pretty fun to put these together, because what we've done is we've designed this, there was no chopping and changing between edit and preview, which you're probably used to when you're using Rapid Weaver Classic and Stacks at the moment, you're kind of always chopping and changing between edit and preview. And things in edit don't look the same in preview. And that is one thing we really focused on in Elements is we wanted you to be able to build your site in a WYSIWYG editor. And we, because it, it's just, it makes so much sense. And it's just so much fun to build things like this. You know, when you can see the layout and you can just, tweak things on the fly, you know, I could just say, oh, actually, I want that to be three again. And I want this to reflow and I want that to be three. So that's up there now. And it's just so quick and easy to work like this. Uh, and a lot of fun to, to play around, you know, and with these global settings we have, it's it's just it's 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 a really great way of working. And I love building sites like this. Um, 
It's good. So I hope that's given you a bit more of an idea of how working in elements will be and how it will feel. There's clearly a lot of rough edges here and a lot of the UI is not finished. And on our elements, you know, you can see this UI is not finished. It's we kind of build this stuff up and it's to be more functional so that we can get things going and then we can refine and polish later. Um, but as you can see, elements is coming along amazingly well. We still got a way to go and, you know, we want to set expectations and know that there's still bits missing, but we're working really hard to get this into a form where you guys can use it and start playing around with the built-in elements and, and you can start playing with this stuff for yourself and giving us direct feedback on what you find and things like that. So, yeah, that's it for this week. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and it's kind of helping you make more sense of where Elements is going and what we're building here and why this is really special. And I know last week I alluded to showing you something mind-blowing and we're going to do that next week, I think, because we're, we're still working on those pieces and it's really cool. And um, it's to do with galleries and images and stuff like that. So yeah, we'll, we'll show that off next week, fingers crossed, you know, because development takes time and um, who knows but it's it's looking really promising so I hope you like this one I hope you have a great weekend and um, yeah and I'll see you next week cool all right thanks for watching bye